Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing this Stinky Toys Bedford Pullmore. It's the 582, it's the car transporter. It's complete, it's all there. Bit of a big in this one to do. I'm not sure about these rivets, um, whether to drill them and, and separate this plate from the bottom. Um, I'll, I'll sort that one when we disconnect the unit from the trail and I'll we just got that there, just fly all that down, I think. We'll get the units off and strip the base plate off. Even the tyres look good on this, they'll clean up well, they will, they're reusable. We paint the wheels. I think this grill comes off, I'm not too sure. If it does, we'll take this off, but it is all going back to as it come out of the factory, this one. We've got a little job for it. Right, let's get on. I'll see you in a bit. As you'd have seen there, I've just took the flare off the end of this. It's just been pressed over or pressed flat. So that should come straight out of there now on the middle. Yeah. There we go. That's the unit off. Just these little tabs holding the base plate on. That's easy enough to do that one. Um, we'll do that first, put that to the side for a minute. Tap up a little bit. There you go. Some fluff in there. Years and years of dirt. This one's off. Yeah, the grill just, when you see that, just pushes in there. Just have a go. I'm just going to flat the tops of these rivets off with a file just so I can uh, do the centre punch and, and get a nice clean uh, drill on them. So we'll do that now. So I've gone ahead, <clears throat> I've just drilled the tops of the rivets, obviously I've had to get rid of the piece or the, the post piece that's going through the, through the outer casting. We've done that, I've just gone round it slightly, it has started to pop off, so hopefully now, there's the door off, we should be able to get this out. Give a bit of look. Well, 
left as much of this part in as I can because I want to knock the rivet into that piece there and it'll keep it good and strong then when it goes back together. So there we go. That's the bottom off. I'll actually remove the axles off this, so I'll do that now, and then we'll get this to the sandblaster. Then we get all this paint off. Right, and right. So there we are. Wheels are off. I ended up taking the the wheels off the axles off the off the off the cab as well. Um we might as well as go we're going as far as we are with it. Um so basically sandblasted time. So we'll get this down there now and get it done. Right, that's the end of it. So there we go, that's all the paint off. We've got a couple of issues to address. Um, it's really rough, the casting here. It's quite uh, like low spots as well. There's some on the roof, some flashing there as well. I won't be going too mad with this. So I want it to, to be as close to the factory as I can get it, really. Um, the rest of it's in good shape other than the unit. The, the trailer's good, doesn't need much at all. That. Got some little nibbles just off the front grill to get rid of. I'll spray this back black. So we'll get we'll address these bits. We might have to put a little bit of filler in the door. 
maybe on the roof, but we'll see how we get on. That'll do. I'm gonna leave the lines in on the front here. Uh, I'll probably just paint that black because when I was sandblasting it, there was actually black underneath the paint, so I'll do that back black.
So <clears throat> all I'll do with these now is just panel wipe them and then we'll get some undercoat on and then we'll flat that back and it's ready for spray. Right so there we are, it's all in undercoat, I've trace coated it, I'm just going to flat it now with some 1200, wet and dry just with some warm soapy water, we'll get it flatted off, we'll get it all cleaned up, dried up, we'll get some paint on it.
Right, so that's all the undercoat flatted off. I've just sprayed the, the front bumper here in the black. Um, I've just mixed up the blue, uh, just as close as I could get it to the original colour, really. So we'll start putting some paint on. So I've just masked up to put the brown on now on the, the top and the bottom plate and a little bit on the tailgate so we'll get this sprayed up and leave it dry and we can get some lacquer on it then. Right, so I'll finish with the trailer, the two colours are on there now. I put the grill back on, just a little bit of detail on there. This is now ready for lacquer. So we'll just put a tack coat on now, we'll start building it up.
I'll have to try a bit now. There we go, paintwork's all done. It's dried off overnight so the paint's nice and hard. So we can crack on getting it back together now. I put the trailer back together. You'd have seen when I stripped this, I left the like the shoulders on this bottom plate. Um just slipped it back in. I pre-drilled the holes for these rivets. These just tapped straight in and they're good and solid, that plate's going nowhere. Um, I left the fifth wheel on, it was just as easy enough just to mask it up, so that's what I went with, just saved the aggro and trying to put it back together afterwards, filming and tapping and whatever. So yeah, that's done. Face plate's done, so we just get the wheels on, get this bottom plate on, and um, we'll get it connected back up. 